Hi everyone, my name is Katie Schaefer and I'm your ninth grade counselor here at Tupelo High School. Uh, today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you on our website how you're going to select your classes for the next school year and then input them into Active Student. So if you go to the Tupelo High School um, website and you go to Counseling, you're going to choose 2021-2022 Subject Selection Information. Um, when you get to that screen, you are going to see um, where it has current 8th grade students, which are the upcoming ninth grade students. All of your information is going to be located right there. So we're going to select the ninth grade subject selection sheet. Okay. When we do this, it's going to show this right here, this document. Okay. And this shows you all of your options um, for your ninth grade school year. So you will see English, you'll see science, social studies, your career technical electives, your fine arts, foreign language, language arts electives, and physical education electives, and technology. So that is going to kind of be um, your, um, your information sheet where you're going to see what um, what the class is worth as far as their credits, if it's a whole credit, if it's a half a credit, and then also pay attention to where we have prerequisites. What that is, is it's telling you um, the criteria that you need to meet in order to take that class. So if you see some of the pre-AP classes, you'll see that um, we require a proficient or advanced score on your math assessment that you'll take at the end of your eighth grade school year, an 80 or above in that particular class, so let's say it's English, um, and then also we're going to rely on teacher recommendations. So just please pay attention um, to those prerequisites and don't choose something that, um, that maybe you, you know you don't meet the criteria for. So now, once you have um, identified that, and you, if you want a further information about these particular classes, you can go to the ninth grade course descriptions. And this is where we've just kind of um, tried to summarize just the ninth grade classes that are offered and give you detail as to um, you know, what the class is about, what you're going to be learning in the class, as well as what the prerequisites and um, the number of credits that are awarded. So with that said, going back to um, the website, you're going to choose, you're going to go to your active student account to actually input the courses that you would like to take for the next school year. So once you click on active student, it's going to take you to your account. And from your login screen, you're going to go to course requests. And right here, what you're going to see is that I have already put in your basic core classes, which are your math, science, history, and English. Now, these are the basic classes that I put in. So it's your general English one, general biology one, general world history, and then the math is where it gets kind of complicated, and I'll go into that in further detail in just a moment. But what you're going to want to do is, if, if these are good, you're just going to leave them alone. However, if you're a student that is looking to take a pre-AP Biology 1, what you're going to do is you are going to simply come over here and click Delete. And it's going to ask, do you want to delete Biology 1? You're going to delete it. Then you're going to select Add New Course Request. From here, you're going to scroll down. You get a drop-down box. You'll go to Biology Pre-AP. Select that. It's a required course, and you're going to hit Submit. So now on the screen, you'll see that I have chosen Biology 1 Pre-AP. I'll do the same thing if I decide that I want to take English 1 Pre-AP. You'll delete the regular English 1 and you'll add the English 1 Pre-AP. Um, I've also added on here health as an elective credit. 
Health is a credit that um, you're going to need for graduation. You do not have to take it your ninth grade year, but seeing as how we, there are limited electives for ninth grade students, a lot of students choose to go ahead and take health and get that elective credit out of the way. Um, when we are looking at world history, one thing that I want to stress to you is that the two options for world history are not just pre-AT, um, but it's an AT class, which means it is a, um, a college level class. The reason it is a college level class is um, because it is monitored and the curriculum is set by the college board. At the end of the school year, you will have the option to take an exam that could potentially give you college credit. That college credit, of course, would appear um, on your college transcript. Now, um, please read the course description and really get a, a good idea for what that class um, involves. Because um, like I said, it's, it's a college level class. So it's more advanced than just your pre-AT class. Um, so please pay attention to that. Um, now going on to your, um, your math classes. Right here, the, this right here, um, you'll see this student has geometry. I've selected geometry for this student. And that is because this student took Algebra 1 at the middle school, okay? So if you are a student who, I, I know everyone is taking your eighth grade math, but if you chose um, to take Algebra 1 as an elective class this school year, then that means that next school year you will be in geometry, okay? So that has already been placed in those students' active student account. Now, for a student that um, is in just the math eight, um, eighth grade math, then you will see that they are going to choose foundations of algebra and algebra one. Okay, and so geometry is going to be, is not going to be on there. Um, okay, for some reason that one did not go on there, so let me choose foundations of algebra. Okay, so here you'll see that we have um, foundations of algebra and algebra one. This is a year-long class, and you'll see that on your subject selection form. Um, so first semester, you take Foundations of Algebra, and then second semester, you move right into Algebra 1, and then the state test will be taken in May at the end of Algebra 1. Um, so make sure that you have both of those on there. Now, if you look at the subject selection sheet under the prerequisites, and you feel like you could take the accelerated Algebra 1 class, um, then you're going to choose that option and you're going to delete both of the classes that say Foundations to Algebra. You'll delete that one. And then you'll also delete Algebra 1. And then you'll add new course and you'll pick Algebra 1 Accelerated and Submit. Okay. So here, I want you to look at where we've got credit hours, all right? And it tells you, you've got one, two, three, four and a half right now, okay? So um, count those up. What you want is a total of eight credits, okay? You may have more than eight classes because some classes are only worth half of a credit. But when you count up your total number of credit hours, you want to total eight. Um, when you're looking at electives, what you're going to do, um, you go to your drop down and you're going to choose from the different elective classes that we have offered for ninth grade students. One thing that I want to point out to you 
is if you are a student that is interested in auditioning for choral music, that could be madrigals and vocal jazz, it could be our show choirs, which are synergy and sound wave, um, you are going to choose choral music fall and choral music spring. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to say that I'm going to try out for those. And so I'm going to submit. Spring. Okay, so you'll see that now they've been added to my course requests. Um, if I am, if you are currently in an athletics, then what you can do is you can choose athletics fall, athletics spring. The only um, the only athletics that is just a semester is if. <laughs> is if you're in cross country and you will only choose athletics fall. Um, if you're already on the cross country team, you already know that. Um, but then what we will do is after you've selected that, um, we will drop that particular class and we will put you in whatever athletic um, sport that you uh, tried out for and made. So we will get those rosters from the coaches. Um, all of this information needs to be inputted into your active student account by April the 9th, okay? So you've got, you've got several weeks that you can go in here and you can select your classes, um, get them in your active um, student, and then after April the 9th, it will be locked and you can no longer make changes. If you need to make changes, that is when... Um, your parent will need to contact us here at the high school and we will have to look at making those changes for you from our end. And that can only be done until May the 21st, um, which is the, the last day that we will take requests. Okay, so that concludes how you will get into your active student account, choose your classes, um, and be set up for next school year.